hey guys thank you so much for clicking on my video and welcome back to my channel last time that i actually spoke to you guys about what was going on with me uh, i think things were bad hey <laughs> life was showing me flames because i remember that my car was broken down i hadn't taken it in for repairs as yet because i was just still like procrastinating because i was just mad I was just like how could you betray me like this i will leave you broken to punish you but <laughs> ultimately i was the one who was like getting punished because i had to be like using public transport um for all that time and it was actually like a, a super big inconvenience to me and because like i haven't been you know like um using public transport for a very long time i think i've like been driving for like the past 10 years so uh, yeah i went back to taxis so eventually i took it in for repairs and then i still had to use taxis because it was going to take a few days because there was a lot of stuff that was wrong with my car um to be quite honest i don't blame it for throwing the tantrum that it threw <laughs> because i just realized now that my my car is old like i don't know when or how time flew by so fast but i just realized that this year is 2022 that means my car is 10 years old because I bought this car in 2012. So I was like, no, I don't blame you for throwing this tantrum that you have thrown. Because Nami, like, along the way, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like, I started slacking on my part of the deal, you know. Like, I wasn't servicing it properly, like, when it was to be serviced and stuff. Because, yeah, it gets really hard to to stick to like maintaining a car once like the service plan and all that free stuff is over and then you like take the car in for service and then like seven thousand rand and you're like what seven what who do you think i am i am not mutepe's daughter <laughs> so i started missing like my dates and stuff and yeah i started just being careless because just known her to be like a super reliable always on the go girl so she eventually gave up on me so okay fine guys she went in for repairs and she was gone for like about two weeks and in those two weeks i was using public transport um and the reason why i was using public transport is because i think somewhere along the way like maybe after like five years of having my car once it was like paid up and everything i just became irresponsible and then like i i, I stopped with insurance <laughs> Yeah, I know that was like not the smartest decision, but like I, I don't think I've had insurance on my car for like the past five years So like when it broke down now, there was obviously none of those fancy things that come with um Insurance, you know, like your courtesy car and all that stuff. So I had to literally go back to my roots and yeah <laughs> like I, I think uh, and when I look back now, I actually don't regret not having insurance for like the past five years because I'm always like, I would have been paying 800 Rand a month for like the past five years. And I, when I count that amount and I'm like, what? So I would have been paying all this money for all this time and like literally nothing has ever happened to my car. So it's not something that I regret like super highly. And yeah, it was okay. Like, I mean, the worst situation that happened um through me not having insurance was that i had to take a taxi for two weeks which i don't think was that horrible but anyways that experience is over and now my life is back to normal i hope god can see that this thing of like me being solely responsible for like my own car maintenance and my own car bills and all that that is not working and i hope he's preparing my spouse who will come and take over like I can't wait guys to be a wife because apparently when you're a wife you don't pay an installment anymore and then he puts petrol for you and he washes your car I literally just want to be a pampered princess I don't want to ever like ever 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 negotiate like rates with the mechanic I don't ever want to find myself in a space shop like I don't want to find myself doing all these unfeminine things that like I have to do them right now because I don't have a spouse but hopefully my spouse is like coming soon and the only thing that I would do with my car is just drive it like it will just always be washed tank always filled installment paid or maybe like not even an installment maybe like my boo is just gonna like drop cash <laughs> or yeah i don't know
yeah something needs to change i don't like this like this whole like rustic living situation it's so unfeminine it is the ghetto and it's not my vibe so yeah i hope jay god is like you know making the things that make the post to be done and this situation is not something we'll ever go through again okay in my two weeks of taxi hunting number one thing that like literally drove me over the top like it made me so mad every single time it was so annoying like biggest pet peeve was like the fact that i always had to have cash like yo it was so annoying because i would forget you know like everywhere i go i need to have cash because you can't swipe you know your taxi fee and stuff and i'm not a person who deals with cash a lot like i hardly ever like withdraw money because you don't need it actually so i had to like become like such good friends with the atm and i absolutely hated it sometimes i would only remember like when i'm in the taxi already and it has to like probably come out of something but luckily it had never happened like maybe when the taxi had like gone already and stuff so like literally you're waking up in the morning you're dressed and you're going to work and then you remember and you're late already then you remember oh snap i have to go to the atm to get money so i really hated like that experience and then you know when you go to the ATM and you withdraw money, like the ATM gives you what it gives you. So if I'm going to withdraw 200 rand and then the ATM gives me a 200 rand note, the ATM gave me a 200 rand note. Like it doesn't care whether it's like 5 a.m. in the morning or 6 a.m. in the morning and all that. So now when I get to the taxi, I'm like, I have anxiety because I'm like, yo, is this taxi driver going to break down my neck because it's like early morning and I'm coming with like a whole 200 rand note? But <laughs> luckily, like you know they didn't break down my neck and uh, it only happened once actually that it was a 200 rand note number two was i had to literally i had to mind my outfits like you know i'm a person who dresses i'm not like a very i don't i wouldn't say i'm a conservative dresser i just wear whatever i want like i'm a thick hand but you know like i can still wear things like i like i'll, I'll rock my leggings or maybe i'll wear shorts or something I, just, I, I usually just dress you know in whatever i want and stuff and i'm not like really like super conscious of my body and all that but i had to be like i got reminded of like um what torture it is to actually be wearing something that you know like maybe the guys are gonna deem like too sexy or too revealing or whatever because like the stairs that you get like they make you so uncomfortable like i think i was wearing shorts at the time and they weren't even like that short just above the knee and stuff and like the looks that i was getting it was so weird and i got, just got reminded it was oh God, my people are like this like even when you're wearing leggings brah like a person just doesn't look at like anything here yeah, they just literally are like staring at your cake and one guy actually came up to me and told me like to my face that girl that could she look hella thick and i wouldn't mind getting a piece of it and i'm like hey, like in broad daylight during the people that it did not care you know like how it makes me feel and it just made me so uncomfortable so i, I have to mind what i wear and stuff and just make sure that i'm always dressed conservatively to not attract attention at all because yeah you know how it is and then like this was funny i actually like every single time i stepped out you know and my hair was like this. god if you are going to step out <laughs> in the cbd with hair like this they will literally like the salon ladies will literally want to pick you up and put you on a chair so they can do your hair like, it gets really annoying and stuff i at one point almost had like one of jojo's famous outbursts and was just like fuck man i said Ngyabonga. now leave me the hell alone <laughs> don't you ever stop <laughs> But anyways, like, I really do understand, Shane okay, what the situation is, you know. My sisters are just out here getting their hustle on. In the famous words of Kimmy Cakes, they Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> so our sisters do want to work, and yeah, I understand. So, yeah, like, just have your head done if you're going to be in a CBD, because everybody's going to, like, keep begging you to do it. And then the third thing that I like i'd forgotten but i was like absolutely delighted to remember it but like you know how now like our lives revolve around like internet shopping and like malls and, and all that stuff you know 
we hardly ever go into places like the CBD and stuff, so we hardly ever like see in the day say market here and you know like all that stuff, like informal traders and all that. So now, like, because I was constantly like walking and stuff, I I usually got a lot of stuff that I needed, and I got it at like a fraction of a price that I would have gotten it otherwise. Because you know we're always buying from like Instagram boutiques and online and all that, and we forget that there's actually like a CBD which sells all the stuff and it's like super cheap as well so like stuff like bucket hats like you'd see the bucket hats on instagram and it's like literally going for like a young 200 rand and then you have to put like a 100 rand for korea and stuff like that stuff is like all over the cbd like literally 50 bucks and you've got a bucket hat like so that was cool to remember and yeah guys like <laughs> I'm reminding you as well if you need something there is a CBD so you can just go and rough it one of the days and you know can get your stuff for cheap we don't always have to be like paying um, for the expensive stuff you know let's save our coins uh, I managed to get a few things I think I got a bucket hat and I got a phone cover um, just a nice like clear phone cover nothing fancy but it was just very nice it like took my phone to the next level and stuff and and then i got um shades i got so many shades because and then there was this lady oh my god guys there was this lady and like she would she had like a um a little stall like right next to the taxis that go to my work and she used to sell like avocado but her avocado is ripe like every day she's got ripe avocado so it was so nice like just before you get in a taxi you grab your avo and like it's nice to get avo that's already ripe because you can eat it today i hate the thing of buying avo today but only being eat but only being able to eat it like next week so i really enjoyed the avo lady and i'm gonna miss her and you know overall i was buying a lot of stuff from like the vendors and stuff like i'll just be walking past and i'll see somebody selling bananas or something then i'll be like oh man let me support and i'll buy the bananas and then i'll buy like you know their veggies and whatever and i made a comment like afterwards i was like ah you know what i'm gonna carry on with this habit even after my car comes back because i love supporting my people but yeah like <laughs> my car's been back for like two weeks and i haven't even been there once like i was literally just at spa getting onions so i don't know i need to do better like i love the fact that i was supporting street vendors and i want to go back to doing that so yeah <laughs> now this one like there's this meme that i always see or like um the status that i've always seen being spoken about like we see girls that have cars you know like bashimile you know and it's always been like a point of conversation and all that and i can definitely say that is absolutely true you know at one stage i had thought with maybe something like men had changed you know and they don't make as much or maybe like maybe i've grown less attractive over the years or something because uh, like i just wasn't getting as many makers as i had like in the past but after my experience in pedestrianville it's actually because i got a car so like uh, they hardly ever had any access to me i realized once i was like back in the taxi business i go like literally first thing in the morning like half past five in the morning or six o'clock in the morning you already having to turn down a proposal and you know zulu man like you you literally just walk into the taxi and you're just sitting there minding your own business and then all of a sudden he loves you and <laughs> like you already have to be like no i don't want to give you my number i don't love you and you're giving people fake names already and like i hadn't had to do that in such a long time i'd actually forgotten what it's like like everywhere you go you're literally just walking minding your own business and then the next thing this person is walking next to you you know and they'll be like oh get turned up because you're in an outfit you keep your hair natural and you're not wearing makeup my african queen and i'm just like oh my god just leave me the hell alone none of like 99 percent of them are hardly ever suitable anyway but gay you know i just got reminded like what it was like to be a girl again like everybody is just like everywhere you go there's just a proposal and you're just like no 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 and you have to be like my name is Snee here, my name is Mbali there. <laughs> I was always using like a fake alias, like I'm always like a Snee or Mbali, a Tandega, whatever, anything. But overall, one like the biggest, I think the biggest, 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 biggest um lesson or 
something that I realized with the um, taxi experience. So life really happens differently for everybody. So I bumped into like a lot of people that um, I went to school with, maybe like in like maybe like rank and also like maybe they'd be in the same taxi as me. I think I would say like maybe about 10 people. So, you know, it was nice, you know, like it's been a really long time since we finished school. So I was like, oh, hey girl, good to see you. You're still alive. You know, you're good. And then we'll like do whatever. I think out of like the 10 girls that I actually bumped into that I went to school with, I think only one of them, like when we're like having our small chats, like our, you know, whatever chit chat, um, and then she was like no she's here because she had um her car she was involved in a car accident and then we had a good laugh about it because i was like mine is also like iffy and i don't have a car right now and we're both laughing because we both don't have insurance so i was actually lucky that i didn't get any accidents and you know she was unfortunately unlucky because she did get into an accident so she has to pay a lot of money to fix her car the rest of them it was like oh, it's a shame life hasn't really been going like the same like there's just an inconvenience for me of like just a few days for some people this is actually like reality this is actually life they actually haven't um gotten the opportunity or never had a car and you know maybe it's something that they still like working towards so that made me really grateful to god like we see wow you know i might complain a lot and think that like maybe you like i haven't done much or god hasn't been like the greatest to me because maybe i'm like other people have range rovers and they have like audis and whatever and even though we're all like maybe the same age and we all grew up like more or less you know the same and stuff but they have been like um able to like achieve way 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 bigger things it just made me really grateful to god who see i thank you for what you have given me because i might take it lightly sometimes because it's human nature but it's a lot like it's a lot like you i just realized that even that is like umosa it's grace so uh, thank you so much for that god and uh, you know guys we really just should appreciate what we have and we shouldn't downplay it and stuff or maybe like compare ourselves to other people and feel like we're not doing much we're doing enough for you know for our lives and maybe other people's lives might be moving at a different pace but that's okay because you know what that's him like you might think like that things are really bad or your situation is really shitty right now but it could be worse so the last thing that's like a i think i can say it's like a nice life problem not like a huge problem but it's an inconvenience like i realized that it was so much easier for me to like record vlogs when i was using taxis because i could literally when the taxi is moving then i can just be busy with my camera like recording the scenery and all that getting my b-roll it's now it's so complicated like because i'm the driver i'm driving and i'm alone in the car so who's gonna be like maneuvering the camera and stuff and you know like taking getting my b-roll you know <laughs> so i have to figure out how i'm gonna do that and stuff but yeah guys like overall it was a it was a nostalgic experience like i didn't do it long enough to like get to the stage where i'm just like oh i hate this so much it was just, just remembered like how life used to be and i was just grateful for how life has changed and it just reminded me of a lot of like the things that we used to do with my friends and the places we used to go you know like that we'd get ice cream at the workshop and you know all that stuff it was nice to experience it again but i'm done like that was it i don't ever want to go back to it again i'm done i experienced it and i have moved past it and yeah i hope that you guys also like enjoyed hearing about my taxi experience please comment down below and let me know if you related to any of the things that i was talking about like maybe um you got reminded of something that you loved or that you like completely hated about being a taxi hand you know if you haven't um been able to get your first car as yet let me know like what are you looking forward to like never having to do ever again if you have your own ride and i will catch you guys on the next one Tailwind, Tailwind! <laughs>